Ariel Hawani for MMARated.com standing next to Elite XC lightweight fighter Edson Berto, who Saturday night faces Connor Hune at Elite XC Heat on CBS. First off, Edson, how are you today? I'm doing real good, guys. I'm doing very good. <laughs> so uh, this is a big fight. Obviously, you're not fighting on the CBS portion of the card, but you're f fighting in front of your hometown crowd, Florida. You excited to get back in action? Yeah, I'm very excited because I got uh, two loss in the Elite XC back to back. So I'm very excited, you know, to come back in the winning track. You were originally supposed to face Mike Ina. A lot of Elite XC fans know a lot about him. Now you're facing a guy by the name of Connor Hune. Do you know anything about Connor? Uh, all I know, he's a, he's a good wrestler and a good jiu-jitsu guy. So I think uh, the fight is going to be uh, very fun and it's going to miss a lot of takedown and uh, I'm just going to do my thing tomorrow. Does that mess you up at all? The, the fact that you know the, the, the opponent was switched so late in the game, so late in your training? Uh, not really, because Mike Anna is a good striker, so we're playing and putting a good show. So, I mean, uh, this I still train the same way, the same thing I was going to do to Mike Anna. I think that's pretty much the same thing I'm going to do to to the guy. <laughs> All right, so you mentioned that you, you, you hit a bit of a rough patch in Elite XC, lost those two fights. What exactly went wrong, and, and are you confident now that you've rectified the situation? I mean, uh, the first one was, uh, I think I was dehydrated, and the second one, uh, after when I fought Eve, it was it was uh, it was exciting fight, and I was winning the fight. And then uh, four seconds before the round over, I got hit, you know, by a knee. So that's something that I never seen before. That was the first time. So, I mean, <laughs> I think I learned I learned a lot from that. Yeah, that was a crazy. I mean, a lot of fans have never seen anything like that before. Have you been able to watch it and and see if that if that you know situation comes up again? Will you know now how to defend that move? Uh, no, really. I don't watch it that much. <laughs> I only saw it once and it happened to me, so I think it's not gonna happen to me again. I learned from that mistake. All right, and the Elite XC lightweight uh, division is kind of in a state of flux right now because KJ Nunes, a guy you actually know a lot about, um, he, he got stripped of the title. What's your take on that whole situation where he didn't want to fight uh, Nick Diaz due to uh, contract issues? I don't know. That's uh, I don't know what, what was the deal. I, I don't know what was the deal with uh, KJ Nunes, and uh, I really want a rematch with him. And uh, I think uh, he fought Nick Diaz. If it was, I think I was the only guy that gave him a little bit of hard time, even though I was. Uh, dehydrated so I think right now if I, if I fight him I think I should be able to beat him. You think if you win on Saturday night that it can propel you to be discussed as you know we're hearing that Nick Diaz and Eddie Alvarez are going to fight for that title November 8th you think you should uh, be considered for a shot sometime in 2009? Yeah definitely so I think uh, I'm going to try to see if I can you know I'm going to win this fight and I'm going to see if I can win two other fights and then so I can get uh, a title shot. All right, let me quickly ask you, your brother fought last week, uh, a very, very impressive victory. Is that, is that fun for you guys when, you know, he fights a week and then you fight for your family and everything to, to get to watch you guys compete so close to each other? I mean, not really, because I really want to go to that fight, but I didn't get to go because, you know, it's too far all the way in California. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to, you know, because I was fighting a week after. I didn't, you know, I was going to be too tired for that. So, man, anyway, as long as you win and uh, I'm going to do my thing tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you guys spar together? And if so, who wins? I mean, we sparring, but not MMA style. You know, just boxing. He beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tomorrow night at the Bank Atlantic Center, Edson Berto over here is facing Connor Hune. It's on the undercard, but a lot of these South Florida fans are excited to see Edson back in action. Best of luck to you, Edson, tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much, guys.